Welcome back to A4A2 Media. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to add music into your timeline and also how to manage the audio within that music clip. So what you're going to want to do is go and find your music clip. We have ours right over here. And there's also this thing called audio scrubbing that when you move through the clip without selecting it, you could actually hear the contents of what's inside that clip just by pressing Shift S. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep audio scrubbing off. I'm going to press Shift S again. And now we're going to double click this clip so that it opens up into the source viewer. So now we're in the source viewer. Up top, you can actually see the beginning and the end of that music clip. And on the bottom right here, you're actually zoomed in to see the contents of what's inside that music clip. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to use the whole audio clip. So we're going to click drag and drop into the timeline viewer. So instead of just dragging and dropping it in the middle, we're actually going to drag and drop it to place on top. So we do that. And now we've placed the audio clip within the timeline. However, we want the audio clip to start in the beginning of the timeline. So we're going to click, drag it all the way back here. So now it starts at the beginning of our timeline. Let's actually get a closer look into the timeline by pressing the player head from the beginning and then clicking on detailed zoom option. Okay, we're a little too close. So we're going to press the plus section. Let's play the whole entire clip so we can hear how the audio sounds with our timeline. YouTube, what it's looking at is click-through rate. If it appears on their screen, if you've ever been on YouTube, just scroll past all these videos where you're decreasing the click-through rate. Right off the bat, it sounds amazing. However, it's a little bit too loud, so we want to manage the audio. We can go down here, and when you hover around the waveform, these two arrows pop up. You can click and hold, and now you can increase the volume by moving up, or you can decrease it by moving down. So we're going to decrease it around by negative two, leave it there, and play the timeline over again. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. If it appears on their screen, if you've ever been on YouTube, just scroll past all these videos where you're decreasing the click through rate. So that's how you manage audio within the timeline. Also, if you want to manage the size of video one, audio one, and audio two, you can actually hold shift and scroll up or down to manage the size of that. If this was helpful for you guys, please leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.